Hello everyone, I am Aishwarya Husmat, a final year medical student. Today we will be going through few of the tips and tricks for you guys to follow at home if any one of you or your loved ones have been tested positive with COVID-19 and if it is a mild case, what you should do at home, these all things we will be discussing in this video. Now, if you have discovered you have COVID-19 and you are caring for yourself at home or your loved ones, you will have several questions like how do we know when we need the emergency care, how do we st stop the spread of COVID, how long the isolation is necessary. The first thing you need to do when you discover you have COVID-19 is to stay home. Don't rush to the hospital because not every COVID patient needs to be hospitalized. There are some mild cases and you can be managed at home if you have a mild COVID case. Most people who become sick with COVID-19 have mostly the mild symptoms and can recover at home. However, older adults and people with of any age who have other medical conditions should call their doctor as soon as a symptom starts. Now these factors put the patient under great risk and they might have a severe case of COVID-19. So keep in mind older adults and those who have comorbidities should be taken care and you should contact your doctor. You should monitor for some of the warning symptoms and if you see any symptom getting worsen, call your doctor immediately. Now the doctor might recommend for you to use the pulse oximeter if the patient is at risk of severe illness. This is how the pulse oximeter looks like. Pulse oximeter is a plastic clip which attaches to your finger and here you can get your reading. Now this device can help check the breathing by measuring the oxygen levels of your blood. For example, you can check it is 98% of oxygen saturation. Now, if whenever you check of a COVID patient, if the oxygen saturation is less than 92%, contact your doctor, the patient might need some extra medical care. There are some warning signs. If you see that in a patient, call 911 immediately. The warning signs such as trouble breathing, there is difficulty in breathing and there is chest pain or there is some kind of pressure in your chest and there is some confusion or the person is become like he's getting unconscious and if there is any bluish face and lips there is any discoloration of the skin then these are some of the very important warning signs go to the hospital or call your doctor as soon as possible protecting others if you are ill first thing is avoid going to work or any public places and don't go out stay isolated in one room away from other people and your family members avoid shared space as much as possible at your home stay at least six feet away from the other members of your family avoid sharing household items such as linens utensils and electronics wear a mask whenever you're near to others change the mask every day if you're unable to wear a mask cuff in the tissue or a kerchief and if you're using a kerchief make sure you wash it frequently wash your hands frequently with soap and water and use a alcohol based hand sanitizer protecting yourself while caring for someone who has covid now if you're a caregiver first thing is wash your hands frequently wear a mask or double mask whenever you're going into the room of the person uh, having covid next thing is avoid visitors to your home whenever you're doing the laundry make sure you separate the all and make sure you don't come in contact with the bodily fluids of the infected person these were some of the things which are which are important for us to understand now there are some bonus tips for you guys make sure you do this at home uh, if you have covid or even if you don't have covid it will help in preventing you from getting infected First thing is drinking lots and lots of water because being hydrated is recommended. Second thing is take hot water steam twice a day. It will be more helpful and, and do hot water gargles uh, which will clear your throat and will give you more soothing. Last but not the least, get vaccinated. Don't be the COVID yet and 
don't avoid vaccination it is really important for everyone to get vaccinated even if there is infection after getting covid vaccine at least the severity of your disease will be reduced so don't be a covid yet go and get vaccinated